get you two slices of bread, two slices of cheese. Now I gotta put it in these annoying little packs. Okay. And what I like to do is I like to, because everything's about texture, right? So just kind of like pick it apart a little bit. So that when you eat it, it's not so, like, get it in little bits, okay? So that when you eat it, it's not so, like, classic sliced cheese. It tastes more like gourmet shit, okay? But that's if you care to put in effort. If not, and you just need to sober up, you just slap that on there, okay? And then, what you do, is you get you some mayo. Get you that mayo. So you can slay though. Get you that mayo. So you can slay though. And you dab that on that. And you drizzle that all over it. You drizzle it all over it. Okay, once you get the drizzle. It's about to get rizzle, real. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you don't have this laying around, you don't have to do it. But when cheese is in a recipe, what's it called for? More cheese. Okay? So get you the block kind of cheese. Okay? And you cut into it. I hope you can see what I'm about to do. Okay, cut into it like this. This is on a block, so it's not on, you know, just the table. So cut into it like this. Get you little bits. This is the sharp cheddar. Okay, because you want regular cheese and then you want sharp cheddar cheese. Why? Because you need different cheeses, honey. You need different cheeses to get pleased. Okay, okay, get you some different cheeses on that. Because even though it's the same thing, it feels like a different food group when it tastes different. Okay, now for the fun part you might want to mayo on both sides. Just so it sticks, okay? So, okay. You reach your little hand in this big bag and you crumble up them chips. Okay, honey? And you want to get both sides. Okay? And then what you do is you... Because this is messy, so you got to fold it right. Look, make it clap. Make it clap so you can have that snack. Mm. 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 